Editing's long. Editing's tedious. Editing is the most boring part of making content. So what if you could automatically edit? This video is going to save you hours and by the end you're going to be thanking me and thanking yourself for clicking this video. First, a disclaimer. This method is going to reveal how to automatically edit your video by automatically cutting out silences in your video. Most of editing is cutting out silences and bad takes so half the work is going to be done for you. Of course you'll still need to do some work but it's going to be easier and you're going to enjoy editing a whole lot more. Now before we get banished to the shadow realm I've got a question for you. The question is what's the easiest way to increase retention and watch time on your YouTube videos? Comment down below with your answer. If you don't know don't worry I'll be revealing the answer later on in the video so just stay tuned and let's get into it. So here are the steps. We're going to go through this very, very quickly, as quick as possible. So we don't waste a bunch of time and we can get right back to where we were. And so you know how this is done and you can apply this to your own videos. OK, first off, we need to export the audio from our video as a web file. Let's just import a video file. So here's a video. Let's bring it into the timeline. Let's shorten this up. Let's make sure the audio isn't muted or anything. So I'll bring this to audio level one. Listen back to make sure the audio is actually there. A value proposition that will help you make more sales compared to the rest of the month. So you see that silence? That's something that should be all. Well, let me keep my headphones on because we're going to need it. That should be something that's going to get automatically cut out. So let's go to file. Then we'll go to export, go to media. At this point, we just want a waveform audio. Now, I've already created a specific template for this, but this is the settings that I'm using. So look at this waveform audio. Then we go uncompressed 44, 100 hertz. 24 bit stereo and that's the only thing that i've really changed so let's also name this and then let's export this this won't take very long because it's just a wave file now our audio has been exported now we need to open that audio in adobe audition so here we are here's adobe audition we'll go to open file We'll open the audio file, go to window, go to diagnostics. So I already had that up, but that's where you go. Once you get this diagnostics menu, it may start with D clicker. You actually want to click on the effect and go to delete silence. Okay. Then you want to highlight a section where you have some silence and some audio. So here's some silence, some audio. Then we can use this to find our levels. So it's letting us know that this is where it's saying audio is. If the signal's above this, if it's below this, that's where the silences so we'll allow that we don't need to get super granular with this it's just doing rough edits but it should cut out most of the silences that we need it to get rid of then we unselect that so it was selected so we just click over here so it's unselected then i set these to 200 milliseconds you can play around with these numbers and see what kind of results you get remember it's rough. Then let's hit scan. And now we should have a bunch of silent sections where it's saying it's silent. So let's zoom in a little bit and then we can go through these to see if it's actually silence. So we can click and then that sounds like something that should get cut out. Click play, click play, and just keep on going and see if it's cutting out anything you don't want it to cut out. Now you don't need to go through all of these because if it does cut out something you don't want it to cut out, you don't really need to worry about that because you can always fix that in the edit. Really, you just want to get out as much science as possible. And then later on, you can be more specific. The next thing you need to do is click on one of these, press Control A, then right click and go to create markers. Then you want to click over here, go to markers. You want to click these, click one of the markers, press Control A, press right click, change marker types to sub clip. Then before you export, make sure that your first marker hits at zero, 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 zero. Otherwise, you're going to have sync issues. So make sure you go to the start, zero, 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 zero. Okay, now you can save this, go to media encoder, add that web file to media encoder. So we can just drag it in, select QuickTime, select Apple ProRes 422 as 422 proxy as the preset, then go to the audio, make sure it's the same audio as before, 44100 sample size, 24, Oh, sample rate, 24 bit sample size, stereo, and then click OK. Then we'll press play, which will just export this very, very quickly. You don't actually need a high quality movie file or anything like that. The reason why you want it to be a video file is so that the next steps would work. So don't worry about that. Just use the smallest 
Easiest file that you can get. Quickly gotta interrupt the content for this important message. If you haven't got Adobe Premiere Pro or Audition yet, use the links down below in the description to sign up for Creative Cloud or go to jcarterray.com forward slash creative cloud. It helps out the channel and all you gotta do is click. This video is gonna change your life, so it's not a big price to pay, right? Thanks for your support. Let's get back to the video. I do suggest that you create a new folder as this can get messy if you don't. Then go into this folder, I've named it sub clips, right click, go to import. If you try to drag this in, you may create an issue where you don't drag in your sub clips as well. So make sure you click import, follow the instructions exactly how I show you and you'll get the results you want. If you deviate from the instructions, you may not get great results, okay? So let's delete the top file, the file that's just the MOV file, because we don't need that. So we'll get rid of it. Then we'll click on the first marker, we'll press control A, then we'll go to clip, we go to create multi-camera source sequence. Then we'll click time code. We'll click create single multi-cam source sequence. Then we'll go to OK. This will create a new sequence. Then we'll hold control, double click on this new sequence. It will bring it up over here. Then what we want to do is we want to create as many video layers and as many audio layers that are in our original sequence. So as you can see, there are seven video layers here. So we need to add six because they start with one by default and there's seven audio layers. So you wanna add six audio layers and six video layers. You want to add as many as are in your original sequence, not this specific number. The reason why you wanna do this is because if they're not the same, you won't be able to copy and paste these in, which is what you wanna do. So now we have press control A, so we can press control C and copy everything. Then we'll go to our sequence. We'll go to the beginning of the sequence. We'll bring this clip down to number one because that's where we're gonna paste everything. Then we'll press control V. And then as you can see, this has now pasted into here and basically pasted all the silent parts into our video. So as you can see, this is a silent part. Scott. And now we can delete these files and that will get rid of all the silent parts. And then we'll select all these files, go to sequence, go to close gap, and all the silences have now been taken out. Let me show you an example. What kind of framework that you can use to come up with a digital product idea? Because digital products are, in my opinion, the best. As you just saw, it created edits that we didn't have to do ourselves. Beautiful times. By the way, if the close gap doesn't work, the reason that's not working is because you have other layers happening above your main layer that stops it from being able to close the gap because it records everything that's going on as part of your sequence. So you need to move everything out of the way. That's why you see everything all the way over here is out the way so that your video clips are the only thing that's being tracked by that close gap feature. So that's how that works. And that may be a reason why your close gap isn't working if it's not working. By the way, if you haven't got Adobe Premiere Pro or all these Adobe things, there's a link down below, grab it through that link. It helps out the channel. I'm sure I just helped you out a lot. So help out the channel, innit? Now it's time to answer that question from earlier. What's the easiest way to increase retention and watch time on your YouTube videos? The answer is get into the content as fast as possible. No asking for likes or subscribes, no stingers or intro clips with dubstep music. Get into the content ASAP. Promo your stuff in the middle and end of the video where the most engaged people will be. There's no point trying to do all that promo at the beginning because you'll be saying it to the most fickle viewers who aren't going to listen. They're not going to do what you're asking them to. It makes more sense to wait till the end and ask the real Gs like you watching right now. So let's recap. Step number one, export your video audio to WAV. Number two, import that audio into Adobe Audition and detect the silences. Number three, create markers from those silences. Number four, convert those markers into subclips. Number five, export or save that audio as WAV. Number six, import that audio into Adobe Media Encoder and export it as a small video file. Number seven, import that video file and all its subclips into Adobe Premiere Pro. Number eight, delete the main video file and create a multicam sequence from those subclips. Number nine, open the sequence and match the amount of video and audio tracks to that of your main sequence. Number 10, copy and paste those sub clips to your main sequence over your main video file. Number 11, delete the sub clips and its sequence. Number 12, close the gap between your clips. Number 13, comment down below and thank me for changing your life. You're welcome. And if you got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Check out that video over there and I'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more life-changing stuff. Peace out.